So the values of the variables that make an equation true are called the solutions of the equation. Solve the following equations. Show all work. Check your answers. You must show work to earn credit. You have to show me the steps. It doesn't matter if you can see it in your head. We need to practice showing all of our steps now because the more that we move on with mathematics, the more steps there is going to be and you need to be able to show that process. So let's look at example one. We have y plus three equals five. Our goal is to get the variable by itself. So I wanna get y alone. Right now, I am adding three to y. We wanna do the opposite of addition. The opposite of addition is subtraction. So I am going to subtract three on both sides of my equation. What do I mean when I say both sides? This side, the left side of the equal sign, and the right side of the equal sign. So we're talking about one side of the equation would be one the, the left side of the equation and then the right side of the equation. So either side of the equal sign. If it helps, some students like to draw a line where the equal sign is to help them um, imagine those two signs. So I'm going to bring down the y. 3 minus 3 is 0. Those cancel. I'm going to bring down my equal sign. 5 minus 3 is 2. So my answer is y equals two. The wonderful thing about mathematics is that you can check your work. On your next quiz or test or practice assignment, you will know right away if you have the right answer or not. All you have to do is plug in to the original problem. So our original problem is y plus three equals five. And we found that y was two. So all I did was replace y with two, everything else in the problem stayed the same. What we wanna do now is prove that this side equals this side. What is two plus three? Five. Does five equal five? Yes. So because this works, that's how you know you did this correctly, and two is in fact your answer. Let's try number two. We have x minus four equals nine. Our goal is to get x by itself. Right now, I am subtracting four from x. What is the opposite of subtraction? Addition. So we are gonna add four to both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring down that x. Four minus four is zero. I'm gonna bring down my equal sign. Nine plus four is 13. This is my answer. We can check our work. Our original problem was x minus four equals nine. we found x is 13. So all I'm doing is replacing x with 13. Everything else stayed the same. We wanna check to see if this side of the equation equals this side of the equation. 13 minus four is nine. Does nine equal nine? Yes, it does. That's how you know you did everything correctly and that 13 is your answer. Let's try example three. Here I have y divided by five is equal to 10. We wanna get y by itself. Y is being divided by five. What is the opposite of division? 
multiplication. So I am going to multiply both sides by 5. So here, um, these are going to eliminate, and I'll have y equals 10 times 5 is 50. So my answer is y equals 50. Let's check that work. So our original was y divided by 5 equals 10. So we're going to have 50, because that's what y is, divided by 5 equals 10. We're trying to see if the left side equals the right side. 50 divided by 5 is 10. Does 10 equal 10? It does. So that's how we know we did this correctly. Let's try example 4. I have 9x equals 27. I want to get x by itself. x is being multiplied by 9. What is the opposite of multiplication? Division. So I am going to divide both sides by 9. 9 divided by 9 is 1, so that leaves me with a 1x. 27 divided by 9 is 3. So my answer is x equals 3. So in my original problem, we had 9 times x equals 27. Well, we just found that x was 3. 9 times 3 is 27. Does 27 equal 27? Yes, it does. So 3 is, in fact, our answer. On number 5, I have 2x minus 1 equals 11. The first thing that you want to do is you want to get the term with the variable by itself. So right now I want to get 2x alone. To undo subtraction, I need to do addition. So I'm going to begin by adding 1 to both sides. So I'm going to bring down the 2x. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. I'm going to bring down my equal sign. 11 plus 1 is 12. I'm not done with this problem yet. You need to get the variable 100% by itself. Right now, x is being multiplied by 2. To undo multiplication, I'm going to do division. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so that leaves me with a 1x. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So my answer is x equals 6. It's my cat Crosby in the background. <laughs> so let's check our work. Our original problem is 2x minus 1 equals 11. Here, 2x means that you're multiplying 2 by x. So I'm going to have 2 times, we found that x was 6. Minus 1 equals 11. Remember, you need to use your order of operations here. 2 times 6 is 12. 12 minus 1 is 11. Does 11 equal 11? It does. So 6 is our answer, and we know that we have done everything correctly. On example 6, I want to get my term with the variable by itself. So I want to get negative x alone. Right now I'm adding 9 to negative x. To undo addition, I'm going to do subtraction. So I'm going to bring down the negative x. 9 minus 9 is 0. I'm going to bring down my equal sign. 17 minus 9 is 8. I want to get x by itself. Right now, x is being multiplied by negative 1. To undo multiplication, I'm going to do division. And I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. Negative 1 divided by negative 1 is positive 1. So that leaves me with a positive 1x. 
8 divided by negative 1 is negative 8. So my answer is negative 8. I can check my work. I'm going to have negative x plus 9 equals 17. So I'll have negative times, we said that x was negative 8, plus 9 equals 17. A negative times a negative is a positive. So this is going to give me a positive 8. Positive 8 plus 9 is 17. Does 17 equal 17? Yes. So that means that we did everything correct and negative 8 is our answer.